I have a freshly leveled 1445 character. You guys will need to do this at 1415. I just have it uh, 1445 doesn't matter. But 1415 is where you get orange accessories, right? So technically what Koreans do is when you reach 1415, you set your character up. And what you're setting your character up is your engravement, your gems, and your tripods. So if you want to run Valton, 333 is totally fine. But in Korea, your average engravement that is required for Valton hard is four threes. So guys, this is like it was super important too. Uh, the reason why I'm talking about this a lot is because you, you aim for what crit you want and you base engravings on that. Does that make sense? So my goal is I want to take Keen Blunt. Since it increases crit damage, you need your crit to be high enough to be efficient. And, and the usual amount of crit percentage you need to make it efficient is around 60%. Scrapper does not have a crit synergy skill. So you got to get it from co either one combat stats or two engravings, right? So I'm going to get adrenaline, adrenaline at level one because I'm going to get 33331. Three, three, so if I have... 50% crit right here, 5% crit, and if I back attack, it's 10% crit total. So it would be 65% crit crit chance. And if I have 65% crit chance, if I have a, a party mate doing a synergy, that would be 75%. If I finish my orange set, it gives me another 17%. So I can have a 92% crit if I want to, or na almost 90%. That sounds super good. So 500, 500 on my necklace for swiftness, and then swiftness and crit, and then my earrings could be cr swiftness for extra swiftness, right? And then my rest of the rest of the accessories is going to be crit. That's the decision that I'm going to do to have around 40 to 50 ish percent crit with adrenaline at level one. My crit chance is going to be much higher. Since I made my decisions on me, my engraving is going to be looking like this. I'm going to decide on what stone I'm going to buy. Let's buy one of each stone. <gasps> How come my alt gets these good stones and my main gets nothing? <laughs> Oh, oh, nine, seven on it. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so, back to the educational video. With a stroke of luck, I bought three stones and happened to carve a nine, seven. Unfortunately, but I'm still going to make three, 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 one. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to carve a stone. You type nine. And then you type a seven. Now I need to decide how am I gonna lay out my accessories. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna put a three, a uh, three, and a three, and a five. Wow, this is so cheap. <laughs> I wonder why it's so cheap because I covered the nine seven stone. <laughs> Since I don't go for two engravings, right? I only need a five in level five, just 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 five keen blunt. That's it, and it can be a trash engraving. It doesn't matter what you have. Mm -hmm. Necklaces are like the most important thing. Then earrings, then rings. So when you have a when you have like when you try to get like an engraving going, necklaces tend to have the most combat stats. So quality on your necklace is the most important, and since quality on the rings is not as important. You go for expensive engravings on the rings and the less expensive engravings on the necklace. So, so the reason why I said the necklace is most important and earrings are important, rings can be on the green green uh, section because it doesn't really impact the the quality doesn't really impact it. So I can just go on the I can just get the green ones. It's not that it's because it, it, like if you is this thirty two this is thirty two quality, one seventy three uh, crit right. If, if you go to 50 quality, 180. It's only like 7 difference. So look. If I look at the quality here, look. Quality is five, five, 500 by 500, right? 42, 437, and 447. You decrease by like 70. That's, that's huge. So you always want to spend the top dollars on your necklaces. 
then then it can get covered by back a few moments later so it's 100 gold 500 600 500 and 300 gold it's pretty cheap i'm, I'm not even spending a thousand gold out of this no two thousand gold out of this but this is all because of i wrote this is all because of i carved a nine seven stone so this is a bad example um if i carved like a like a regular stone this would have been a little bit more expensive Easy. Three, 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 one. There you go. With most expensive stone. Yes. But that's how you do it. And then if you look at the stats, 1302, 854. 47.24% crit. 47.24 plus 5 plus 10 is 65%. I mean, plus 5 is 63%. So a little bit, the 62. So it's a little bit lower. Now, uh, this would be part one of that video because I this is this would be the engravements, right? So this covers the engravement section. It's a little bit weird because I carved the nine, nine seven stone. The second part of the video is tripods. Tripods are more important. You actually have to determine what skill is the most important in your class, right? Well, you can have up to 18 tripods at level five. Now that's very expensive because you need to have four four fours on, on one gear, right? You need this as level five because every time you hit, your your uh, your attack power increases. This needs to be level five, so I'm going to put this into a priority, right? And <clears throat> what are my main DPS skills? My DPS skill seems to be this one with a three. So these three would be one. Then I have four total, right? One, two, three, four, and then five and six. Maybe I can do it that way. So an ace method is buying the three, uh, buying these, as I told you. You buy the level four tripod on the important ones. Well, in, in, when in ace case, when you have the legendary gears, it'd be level three. So you have six parts, right? You have six parts. So the problem about tripods is if I have this head thing here, right? I transfer it. I can only apply it on heads. That's the problem here. So that's why you can only level it up to three tripods in a cheaper price by putting it on different pieces. What, what's more important in this, let's say you press your skills. This is why you select six of your most important tripods. In Scrapper's case, this is the most important because it increases every single damage for your, for your skill kit. Because if you hit them, your attack power increases, right? You want this to be at max level. For example, a war dancer would be something like tripods for Wind's Whisper. Gunslinger is nightmare. It costed me a lot of gold. Because Gunslinger, you need to level up all rifle tripods and all shotgun tripods. That's already 15 tripods that Gunslinger needs to get. That's why Gunslinger is expensive. Because they require a lot of tripods to be viable. For Gunlancer, Bash is important. But Bash is not just as important because it, it doesn't increase your damage that much. You would level up your Guardian Thunderbolt and your Shield Charge. So it's good to see. It's good to determine what skill it, what skill is it impacts your class more. Check this out. If I pay 58,000 gold, I can have 4444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444
these are the ones that I bought, right? Copy. 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 Copy here. And then copy here. And then copy here. So now I need to resell this. And people are going to buy it back because they need to do it too. And not it, not everyone needs to do it. Easy. Now if this sells, I'm I get I get my money back. Now I'm complete. Now this is the second part. Now I did my engraving. Now I'm going to the gems. Now the gem the the, the, the gem tips are get a bunch of level fours stocked up from your other characters and then just fuse it. And if you get lucky, you get the ones you might want. <laughs> the reason why I said fuse is because you get a free reroll if you uh if you fuse the if you fuse it. Rip silver, you say? I have unlimited silver. Now I'm complete with the gems, right? Because gems are gems are pretty straightforward, right? You put your main DPS skills on on the uh, damage damage gems, and then you put your cooldown gem on covering with that main DPS main DPS gems. Does that make sense? And obviously, you put this on cooldown because this is very important. Now. My character is complete. It's it's completely. If I get the tripod back, I probably spent maybe like twenty k gold on it. But it's based on Korea though. Now I should kill some stuff. Oh shit! I have no potions out of no support party. Oh shit! I'm fucked. <laughs> I have no potions. I'm fucked. What do I do next? Oh shit! No, <laughs> no, dude, that's bullshit, man. Oh! <clears throat> so that last game was uh, uh, something else. Hey, man, this seems to be a lot better team. <laughs> it's the other team. <laughs> Oops. <laughs>